Hello everyone, what's going on? GavTomastman74 back again today doing another Valve source code tutorial. This time around I'm going to outline how to add in the Molotov from Half-Life 2 Beta into Source 2013. Now this was a suggestion by Waddles who asked to do this, so thank you for the suggestion. As I screw up on my words already, that's a staple on the channel if you didn't know. But first things first, you want to go to your source code directory and open up the games solution and navigate to the server project, either server HL2 or server episodic and anywhere in there you want to right click and add existing item and you should be taken to your game server folder and inside of HL2 you'll see grenade molotov.cpp and grenade molotov.h you want to add both of those and weaponmolotov.cpp and weaponmolotov.h. So the code for the Molotov is already included in the source code. So we're going to be making some changes to this code. So I'm going to start with grenade molotov.cpp and at the top of the file we're going to add hashtag include explode.h and inside of the data desk you'll see a define function. You want to change the one for molotov touch to be define entity func. And for the Molotov Think, you want to change it to define Think Funk. Then inside of Spawn, we're going to add V Physics Init Normal of Solid B Box Zero and False. Then we're going to change Set Collision Group Collision Group Projectile to Collision Group Weapon. We're going to remove the Util from Set Size and remove the this part of the parameter, so it's only the vectors that are left. And we're going to change the set touch line to be and C grenade molotov colon colon molotov touch and set think to and C grenade molotov colon colon molotov think. Then the M underscore FL damage line, we're going to replace this with if get owner entity and get owner entity arrow is player, then M underscore FL damage equals SK player damage molotov dot get float else m underscore fl damage equals sk npc damage molotov dot get float then in the molotov touch function before detonate we're going to add if p other arrow is solid flag set of f solid trigger or f solid volume contents and then inside of this st if statement we're going to add if p other arrow is solid then detonate and then return so this line is for cases where the Molotov is going to go through a trigger volume or something like a brush elevator and normally it would just detonate immediately upon touching a trigger or as soon as it would enter a brush based elevator so this is to try and resolve that issue so Molotovs can now go through trigger volumes and shouldn't detonate immediately upon touching a brush based elevator so in detonate Above the emit sound line, we're going to add a CPAS attenuation filter called filter and then in brackets this. And then we're going to change the emit sound line to start with filter, then ent index with brackets and then the sound name grenade molotov dot detonate. Then further down, we want to comment out everything from CPAS filter to M underscore FL damage. And we're going to add explosion create and we're going to pass through several arguments. So first off it's get abs origin plus vector of 0016, get abs angles, get thrower, m underscore fl damage, m underscore damage radius, sf env explosion no sparks, sf env explosion no d lights, and sf env explosion no smoke. Then after that 0 0.0 f this and damage burn as shown in the video. Then we want to comment out the radius damage line and then move on to pre-cache. I personally move base class pre-cache to the bottom and we're going to change pre-cache model so it reads models weapons w underscore molotov dot mdl instead of w underscore bb underscore bottle dot mdl. So I'm going to move on to weapon molotov .h next. We're going to be removing everything from m underscore n num ammo types to m underscore f next throw check. And we're going to add a new ball called m underscore b redraw. 
we're going to remove the functions draw ammo to and including molotov touch we're going to remove object in way and secondary attack and we're going to add a new function called void check throw position which passes through inputs of c base player asterisk p player const vector and vec i and vector and vec src and we're going to change the throw molotov function so it only has an input of c base player asterisk p player and we're going to add ball reload ball holster which passes through an input of c base combat weapon asterisk p switching to which equals null and ball deploy and now in weapon molotov.cpp at the top of the file we're going to do hashtag include game stats dot h we're going to remove m underscore n num ammo types to m underscore f next throw check from the data desk and remove the molotov touch function and we're going to add in a defined field of m underscore b redraw as a field boolean then inside of precache we're going to change the models slash props junk line with models weapons w underscore molotov dot mdl and we're also going to add util precache other of grenade molotov in speech marks as shown in the video and i'm going to define the deploy and holster functions here so we're going to have ball c weapon molotov colon colon deploy and in this function we're going to say m underscore b redraw equals false and return base class deploy and ball c weapon molotov colon colon holster which passes through an input of c base combat weapon called asterisk p switching to and again we're going to say m underscore b redraw equals false and return base class colon colon whole holster of p switching to then inside of the spawn function we're going to remove everything after and including m underscore b need draw so we just should only call upon base class spawn now and we're going to remove the set pickup touch and molotov touch functions since we deleted them from the header file then inside of operator handle anim event, we're going to add a C base player called asterisk p owner, which equals two base player and then get owner, and a ball called f through molotov equals false, and this is going to be above the switch. Then we're going to completely change the event weapon throw code to throw molotov of p owner, then p owner arrow remove ammo of one and m underscore i secondary ammo type f through molotov equals true and break now the reason why it's m underscore i secondary ammo type is because in the weapon script file that i'm going to be using molotov ammo is defined as a secondary ammo not primary ammo so that's why it's using the secondary ammo parameter here then outside of the switch we want to add hashtag define refro delay of 1.0 f and then if f through molotov then m underscore fl next primary attack equals gp globals arrow cur time plus refro delay then we're going to remove the object in wave function and we're going to replace it with void c weapon molotov colon colon check throw position passing through inputs of c base player asterisk p player const vector and vec i and vec and vec src i know it's quite a mouthful but in the function we're going to start with trace underscore t called tr and then do a util trace hall of vec i vec src minus vector 666 vector 666 i know very satanic then p player arrow physics solid mask for entity then p player p player arrow get collision group and tr and then if tr dot did hit then vec src equals tr.endpos. Then we're going to remove the weapon los condition and weapon range attack one condition functions because we deleted them from the header file. And I'm going to say for this function, throw molotov. First off, we have to replace the input to c base player asterisk p player because that's what we did for the header file. But because the code is going to be quite long and quite extensive, I would recommend that you pause the video to copy what is being shown, as it would just take me too long and it would be too boring just to have this code on the screen for an extended period of time while I just say everything about what it does. So, yep, this is the code you want for throw Molotov. Then we want to replace the primary attack code with if m underscore b redraw then return. Then create a C base combat character called asterisk p owner, which equals get owner. 
and then if exclamation mark p owner then return then a c base player called asterisk p player which equals two base player and then get owner and then if exclamation mark p player then return kind of redundant i know but then we want to do throw molotov of p player then p owner arrow remove ammo one and m underscore i secondary ammo type then send weapon anim of act vm throw and then m underscore fl next primary attack equals gp globals arrow cur time plus 0.75 i've done in this case and then if exclamation mark has secondary ammo then p player arrow switch to next best weapon this then we want to remove the secondary attack and draw ammo functions because we deleted them from the header file and inside of the item post frame function we want to remove the if statement that is there and replace it with if p owner arrow m underscore af button pressed and in attack and m underscore fl next primary attack is less than or equal to gp globals arrow cur time then primary attack and then if m underscore b redraw then reload and at the bottom base class colon colon item post frame so let's define reload now so we're going to do ball c weapon molotov colon colon reload we're going to say if exclamation mark has secondary ammo then return false so if we don't have any ammo then don't reload then if m underscore b redraw and m underscore fl next primary attack is less than or equal to gp globals arrow cur time then send weapon anim of act vm draw m underscore b redraw equals false and outside of this add return true and one last thing we're going to change the constructor so it reads something like c weapon molotov colon colon c weapon molotov then with brackets after it but then a colon and on a new line c base hl combat weapon with brackets after it and a comma then m underscore b redraw and then in brackets false and then within curly braces null so i think this is just an alternative way of defining the constructor and what we're saying is our boolean parameter m underscore b redraw is set to false immediately so now we need to actually define some of our convars and the molotov ammo type that's going to be used in the weapon script so in hl2gamewalls.cpp near the top of the file you should see definitions for player damage molotov npc damage molotov and max molotov so you want to delete the two forward slashes at the beginning of these to comment them back in so they're going to be defined otherwise you're going to get errors and then at the bottom of the file with the def dot add ammo type stuff you want def dot add ammo type of molotov damage burn trace anon sk player damage molotov sk npc damage molotov sk max molotov and zero and zero as shown in the video and that is pretty much everything on the server side of the code done but now we need a client side version of the code so now you want to go to either client hl2 or client episodic dependent on which project you ended up using to follow this tutorial and inside c weapon stubs hl2 you want to add stub weapon class of weapon molotov weapon molotov and c underscore base hl combat weapon as shown and now to avoid any issues we want to go to your mods cfg folder and inside of skill.cfg you want to define sk player damage molotov sk npc damage molotov sk molotov radius and sk max molotov and i've defined these as being 100 50 150 and 5 respectively and it goes without saying as well but you need a molotov weapon script the view model and world model now i'm being a bit lazy here and i've just got this straight from the missing information mod and if you want to there's an optional step where you can change the molotov break sounds you don't necessarily need to do this because well let's outline the optional step and then you'll see why so if you go to your source sdk 2013 single player folder you can go to hl2 and scripts and there should be a file called gamesoundsweapons.txt you can copy this and paste it into your mods scripts folder and that way this file is now going to be overridden so you can use or add any game sounds and in particular related to any weapons 
If you search for Molotov, you should see there's already a definition for grenade Molotov dot detonate, but there's only one sound that's defined and it's a physics glass break sound and it's kind of quiet if I play it right now. Bearing in mind there's going to be an explosion sound as well, you're probably not going to really hear this sound. So what I decided to do was change the sound to be weapons forward slash mtov underscore break one and add another sound called weapons forward slash mtov underscore break two dot wave. Now these are from the Half-Life 2 beta so you need to acquire those sounds but it changes grenade molotov dot detonate to be two different glass breaking sounds. So at this point you can compile the solution, it should work, you should not have any issues, you should be able to launch into debugging and in this case because I used the missing information assets I get an assertion error and basically it's a hassle about an animating prop but if you ignore that then you'd have a molotov, you'll be able to throw it, it detonates, it explodes, it breaks props and the fires that are present do damage to objects if they stay inside of the fire for too long. And I believe there's another fix I want to do eventually where the fire does more damage and you can even ignite NPCs and maybe any other objects that are in proximity to a fire. But that's pretty much the tutorial everyone, I hope you found it helpful, please let me know what you think. I apologise for any vocal fuck ups in the video and let me know what you think so please take care out there see you next time and have a great day